I'm here to talk to you about Jacobs HPD Modular Engine Braking System. As many know, Jacobs offers a full suite of engine braking technologies from a simple exhaust brake all the way up to the new HPD system. HPD represents the future, the next generation of engine braking systems. It allows record breaking engine braking performance to be achieved on a heavy duty diesel engine. It was first developed in response to customer demand a request for more engine braking performance in a wide variety of applications and operating conditions for many customers. At its core is Jacob's cylinder deactivation technology. This here is a cylinder deactivation bridge that is used on the most common variation of engines. It allows the main event to be deactivated during engine braking. Activation and deactivation of the system is controlled by engine lube oil coming through a basic solenoid valve supplying to the engine brake and to the bridge to allow control of the system. While cylinder deactivation is shown in this bridge, it is also available in different technologies such as a rocker arm or a push tube. There are three main versions of the HBD modular engine braking technology. The first is standard compression release. In this version of the technology, a dedicated cam rocker brake is used to actuate one exhaust brake valve. A standard solenoid valve supplies engine lube oil to the brake rocker where the actuator piston extends to actuate the valve. And there is only one compression release bump on the braking cam. The next version of HPD is called 1.5 stroke HPD, where the cylinder deactivation technology is added to the exhaust side only. In this example, we've added the cylinder deactivation bridge to the exhaust side only, adjacent to the exhaust rocker. When HPD is activated, the solenoid provides loop oil through the rocker shaft that both deactivates the main event by supplying loop oil to the cylinder deactivation bridge and activates the brake rocker. This is also a dedicated cam brake rocker but the difference is it allows two compression release events per cam rotation instead of the conventional one. The third and final version of HPD technology allows us to actuate the intake as well as the exhaust. On this example, we run both the exhaust side and the intake side. On the intake, we've added a collapsing bridge as well that allows us to activate the intake. Similar to the exhaust, when we supply oil to the intake side, it goes through the rocker shaft and deactivates the main intake, but also activates the intake brake rocker. This allows us to actuate special intake valve lift events to optimize performance in HPD and allow maximum engine braking performance. The most important benefit of HPD technology is increased engine brake performance throughout the entire RPM range. The graph shown compares different retarding technologies on the same engine, starting with an exhaust brake and working up to full two-stroke HPD. Peak retarding performance is increased, but at more significant increases performance is seen at low RPM where the driver normally operates. At high RPM, the HPD system can deliver performance that is comparable to a driveline retarder, but without the drawbacks. The system is fully integrated into the valve train, allowing for a lower cost and weight than a driveline retarder. It is also easier to integrate into the vehicle and is not subject to parasitic losses and performance fade. Increased engine brake performance is very important in modern vehicles where regulations are driving OEMs to make changes and adopt technology that reduces the overall natural retarding of the vehicle. This includes technologies like low rolling resistance tires, aero packages, trailer technology, platooning, down speeding the engine, and even downsizing the engine. These changes decrease the natural retarding of the vehicle, placing more burden on supplemental retarding technology like the engine brake and foundation brakes. HPD fills this gap, allowing more of the burden to be maintained by the engine brake, thereby increasing or maintaining the service life interval of the foundation brakes. Another valuable application for HPD is on natural gas engines. Typically when an OEM changes from a diesel engine to a natural gas engine, 
they significantly reduce the compression ratio of the engine and downsize the turbo. The combination of those two changes can reduce the engine brake performance for a standard compression release engine brake by up to 25%. Many times the vehicle weight and engine braking performance required to stop the vehicle in those applications does not change. The best way to improve performance on natural gas engines to the level of a diesel engine is to use HPD technology. The plot that we're showing here shows a comparison of the different technologies on natural gas applications. The green line is a standard diesel compression release engine brake performance curve. When we went to natural gas, the performance dropped significantly down to the blue line. By using one and a half stroke HPD technology, we were able to have performance better than the original diesel performance on the natural gas application. The HPD system was developed using proven JVS engine braking technologies and engineering standards established over the past 60 years of the company's history. The rocker brake, solenoid manifold, and spring bar are standard technologies that are in production today for many customers. The new elements, specifically the cylinder deactivation components, have been developed and extensively validated using the same demanding engineering standards over the past 10 years. As the industry changes and the needs for engine braking technology also change, JVS is here to help.